Hello fellow Whovians and welcome to another Doctor Who action figure review. Today I shall be taking a look at the Demon set, which once again contains three characters from the John Pertwee era. So we have another Brigadier, another Master and the first and only release of Bok. So first off we're going to take a quick look at this Brigadier. Not much to be said here. If you've seen my review of the Claws of Axos set, then what we have here is sort of the same figure. Uh, the body is the same. It's just a reuse of the same body. Uh, he still has the gun and everything, and the paint applications are pretty much the same. The only big difference is, is he also has some binoculars so I'll just quickly show you these and these binoculars can be put around his neck as you just saw so very nicely detailed they're just painted black with some silver at the edges there so it looks very nice with these binoculars on and it just fits on like that so we can recreate some of the scenes from the demons and the other big difference is the cap he's wearing a different cap he's not wearing the beret and that's very nice the detail obviously you got the red band that just goes all the way around there and the top of that is painted green and then this bit here is painted green and got a black line underneath with a silver buckle and you've got a, a uh, gold badge just there at the centre. Once again likeness is just truly remarkable. So yeah that is your Brigadier. Um, as far as articulation goes as well it is the same as other brigadiers. Next up is the master and he is depicted as wearing his robes as seen in this story and it looks very nice. Just to take a closer look you've got all the patterns on this red robe. Uh, he's got his gold necklace here and then around the neck it's got like these symbols which is sort of like devil worship stuff here and then just above here you've got the red that just goes all the way around his neck and it sort of acts a little bit like a hood there and the back looks very nice as well because you've got like a black band and it's surrounded by gold and I think it's very nicely detailed and just here around the shoulder pads as well obviously it's mostly red but you have these little things here and there's little black bits here with bits of gold I suppose to give the impression that there's more of these symbols but it just look like random um, lines that have just been painted on but still it works nonetheless you've got all these white flaps here just around the arms to give the impression that he's taking this cloak on and off because the arms which are underneath are the same arms as the normal uh, Rodi Delgado figure although you can see just under here he is wearing a white shirt because in this story he posed as a vicar so I think that the detailing on the cloak is very very nice uh, I mean just looking at it it's just fantastic even just looking at the back sort of looks like a potent figure and I think it is a nice variation to have on the shelf alongside your normal Roger Delgado master and as I said the, the legs which are just underneath this are the same legs as your standard Roger Delgado figure. Now looking at the head 
once again, I think the likeness is great. I will say that the likeness on the standard one is slightly better though, and it's mainly due to the hair, because on that one there was more grey streaks. This one does not. I don't know why, but still, it doesn't really detract too much from the figure, because you, just, you, you can tell who this is meant to be, and the likeness on the face with all the wrinkles and everything is just perfection. I can't fault it too much, apart from the hair. Uh, the grey streaks in the beard are not as noticeable here either. You can sort of tell, but they've been like painted black over it slightly. Um, I prefer the standard version in terms of how the hair is on that one. But it's just a minor gripe. Apart from that, everything else about this is really good and I'm glad that we have another variation of this master. I am dying to see a Terror of the Autons version of this at some point. Why that's not happened I don't know because the character have the parts to do that. So yeah, hopefully one day in a BNM set we may get to see that figure. Articulation. Now the head can only do this because it's sort of hindered by all of this. All of this is like a piece that's being handed on top of an existing sculpt, really. The arms can only do this because of the cloak. But you got a little bit of articulation in the elbows, and there is bicep articulation hidden under there, believe it or not. And... His wrists can do a 360. Also, I forgot to note, he's still wearing his ring. And there's a little bit of articulation in the legs, but to be honest, you don't really need to do much with the legs, apart from just making sure that he can stand up. So yeah, articulation very lacking in this, but it's not really too much of a complaint, because I think the reason to get this figure is absolutely for the detailing. So overall, gets a thumbs up from me. Now on to the last figure of this three-figure set. And again, I'm not going to go on too much about this, because there's not really too much to say here. It's Bok, the threatening statue that causes havoc for the Third Doctor and Joe Grant throughout the demons. Uh, looks good alongside like your Weeping Angels figures on the shelf, I'll say that, because like them, he's a statue. Looking at the face, he's got like that gargoyle look. Looks very much like how he did in the story. Doesn't look like a leotard, which is good, so in some aspects the figure looks better than the actual thing, so that's a good thing. And just at the back here, he's got his wings, which are very nicely detailed, with all of the edges here and there. And the texture of this figure. They made it, sort of feels a little bit like stone. Obviously it's plastic, but, you know, it feels like he belongs in the Doctor Who family in a way. He really does belong the Weeping Angels. He, he, he doesn't look out of place if you stand him next to a weeping angel, put it that way. The annoying thing about this figure though is the articulation. There's quite a lot of articulation joints for this guy and you know he's one of the smaller figures in the line. Also this damn tail and as lovely as it looks with all the points and everything and all of the ridges of stone to give it that stone like look it keeps getting in the damn way and it's a real pain to stand up sometimes because it can just fall down just by the smallest of movements so you have to be like really careful on how to pose him on the shelf because if he falls over and knocks another figure over it's like a game of dominoes on my shelf it's quite hilarious really so that's one of the things to bear in mind when you pose this guy alongside other figures, just 
make sure you're posing in the right way so he doesn't fall down so easily just by the slightest of touches because it can easily happen. As I said, there's quite a lot of articulation. I mean, look how flexible this is. It's just mental. It's like on the same scale as the new series on Tyrants. And I didn't really like the articulation on those. So, yeah. It's a bit of a weird one. Arms are ball jointed. And he still has wrists, elbows, and bicep articulation. Head, surprisingly, feels like really rubbery when you want to turn it around. But it can do it. But um, it's not the most comfortable of uh, head articulation. The wings aren't removable, so... It's not like the Weeping Angels or the Heavenly Hosts figures. Um, obviously, you've got your waist, which also can move all the way around. The tail goes from the top of here, so it doesn't affect the tail too much. And as you saw, the legs can just do whatever the hell they want, and the knees can bend as well and as he has webbed feet you know you have to be very wary of how to stand him up at the moment he looks absolutely fine but as soon as I'm done with this review and I put him on the shelf I guarantee that carnage will occur because I've just got a feeling it's just gonna knock a load of other figures over Luckily for him, though, the Brigadier is around, ready to give the order to fire five rounds rapid on this awful creature. So that is my review of the Demon set. Very good set. We've got another nice variation of the Brigadier here. We have a very lovely variation of the Master, my personal favourite from the set, I'd say. And we have the nice addition Bok in this set as well. So once again I would say track this down uh, as The Demons is a very good story from the John Pertwee era and if you're a fan of that story then this set is definitely for you. Although be wary the price of this set these days may be quite steep we shall say. But apart from that yeah, I rate this set. It gets a thumbs up from me. Thank you very much, guys, for watching once again. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more of these reviews. And please leave a like, click the bell. Stay tuned next time. Cheerio.